Despite many more Memorial Day events being canceled because of the coronavirus pandemic, one of the world's largest Navy base went on. A 21 gun salute to those who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. 10 on your side's Asia Tolliver was there. Well, this annual tradition looks a little bit different this year as the public was not invited, but they said it was still important to remember and honor those who have fallen. Stand by. Fire. <laughs> With a lot less people around, but with honor still in their hearts, this group of sailors upheld a tradition to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Well, I think it's important, uh, even though we're in the midst of this pandemic, to uh, honor those that have fallen. Um, it, it, like I said earlier, it's a real honor to come out here and be able to do this. The saluting battery from NAVSTA, Norfolk's security department, fired a single shot at one minute intervals until the 21 gun tribute was complete. The salute took place at the USS Iowa Memorial, which honors the 47 sailors who were killed on board the USS Iowa when one of the ship's turrets exploded in 1989. It was like uh, something you probably see in a movie mostly, and not, not in real life. It was uh, really, it was a tragedy, very, very, very bad. Joseph Piku visits the memorial often. He was on board when the tragedy happened, a day he'll never forget. I, every time I come out, I say, uh, you know, a little prayer. Excuse me. I say a prayer, put the flag down, and uh, walk around for a while. And then, you know, after that, uh, I leave and, you know, I'll always remember them all the time. Piku stood tall as the cannon was fired. Uh, to all of uh, my shipmates and everyone else that, uh, look, that we might be looking at this later on, that, uh, you know, keep us in your prayers, keep them. In your prayers. Thank you. In addition to this, they normally have different runs to commemorate Memorial Day, but they say this was the safest option. In Norfolk, I'm Aisha Tolliver, on your side.